So Devontae Adams is asking for a trade, huh? Hmm, interesting. So the Washington Commanders inquire, and if they do inquire, and the conversation is good, should we pull the trigger? Let's talk about it. Like, comment, subscribe, get right to today's video. Welcome back to the PSN Command. Now it's your boy Tonka A Tech. I'm back with another video. If I get to a glory to God, for God, I will not be right time. So God will be doors and paving ways for all of you to lose Lord's name for today's video. Here about the Washington Commanders. If I get too far into today's video, quick verse of the day. This is from uh Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 says as follows: We demolish arguments and every pretension pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive of every thought to make obedient Christ. So any arguments against the gospel, we're going to destroy that pretension, man, all that. All that, yo, God ain't real, bro. Jesus ain't real, bro. I mean, Jesus ain't going to never come back and all that, man. We, we ain't doing that. And then we're going to make you believe. Not by force, but by wisdom, by knowledge of God. Let's get right to today's video on phone app. Devontae Adams, man. Tate Adams, man. 17, man. One of the best, one of the best to do it in the modern earth. One of the best. Big dog. Big big dog Tay Adams has requested a trade from the Raiders. And according to JPA football, the number the, the two destinations are as follows that have been leaked or like kind of been put out there are the New York Jets reunited with Aaron Rodgers. And the Washington Commanders and uniting with a guy that he wants the Raiders to draft at 13 if he was available in Jaden Daniels. So let's talk about it and talk about what I think it would take for a trade to actually occur with the commanders and also will we pull the trigger. Let's talk about Peter's track record. <clears throat> Brad Ayuk was available for about three or four months. Well, you think it was cap or not, I think he was available. Um, They talked to Ayuk in the camp. They talked to the Niners. The Niners went too much. The Niners won the first round pick and the commander said, hell no, we're not doing business. Right? But now I think I heard the competition will be a two plus. So um, I fought like a two two. So I put in I put in our group chat with my, some of my homies, and they told me, "Yeah, you can't be Jim, you tripping." But I already fought those two twos, so that's completely my fault now. But um, yeah, I didn't see what the competition was, but it said it was a two plus. So I said it might be like a two plus a five or a two plus a four or something like that, a two plus two seven something like that. Uh, could be the competition for Devontae Adams. And the question is, would you do it? Um, my answer to that question is, are we really, really ready to win right now today on October 1st of 2024? Are we, are, you, are we Super Bowl ready? The answer is no. So I personally would not do the deal. Now, if Adam Peters do it, I'm not going to argue with him. AP, we trust over here. We trust AP, man. That's, that's our GM. That's Big Dog. We trust Big Dog over here. We have faith in our GM. We have faith in, in, in Big Dog. But if it was me, I personally wouldn't make the trade because I don't think we're ready to win right now, per se. I think he will be a New York Jet. Why? Because him and Gary Wilson are not seeing eye to eye. We're talking Aaron Rodgers for one. And number two, um, the Jets are trying to win a championship, bro. They, they're, they're in win now mode. They have a 40 year old quarterback. We don't know how we know how much time Aaron Rodgers got in this league. Shoot, how much how much Aaron Rodgers got in life? You know, all the injuries he sustained in the league. Uh, or Achilles, quote, and some other things. But, you know, we won't talk about that for another day. But, yeah, I'm just saying, I think the Jets would do it before we do it. But if we did do it, what would it take? I think it would take a two and a four. A four in 2026 and a 2025 second-round pick. Now, he's due $17 million this season, and you're not paying the full 17 because you're already into the season. And I think this will probably be done to the trade deadline. So you're really paying 8.5 this year. Next, on the other hand, you're paying $35 million a year. Do you really want to take on that extra year? Hmm. And you want the cap flexibility. So you want you want the cap flexibility to go get um, a T. Higgins or someone a little younger. Might not be as good as Devontae Adams, but he's five, six years younger, right? Um. So would you rather wait to get a T. Higgins or even trade for a T. Higgins 
and give up prior round the same compensation? Or are you willing to get Tay Adams right now a little older and you're just ready to win now? Um, him and Terry will be disgusting. I'll start with that. Him and Terry will be disgusting. Uh, but I think it was something the growth of guys like Luke McCaffrey. Uh, I think that was done his growth a lot. So I, I personally don't like that part of it. There's pros and cons to everything. But I think Devontae Adams will bring you an extra weapon that will make you a little bit more versatile offensively. We have been very predicated on the run game. And I think sometimes when the run game isn't working, you probably want an extra receiver that you can rely on to get those third and nines or get those third and tens to keep the chains moving things of that nature if you have to drop back 40 times with Jay and Daniels. And I think um, Devontae would be great. Not only what number he would wear. <laughs> he can't wear 17 here. We got 17. His name is Terry McLaurin. And Terry McLaurin's not wearing 83. That's dead. No, sir. So um, maybe he goes to his old college number 15. I think 15 is available. So that's something you can probably look into it. But uh, <laughs> Tay Adams in DC, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, my thoughts, I think it's not going to happen. But I think if it did, it would take a two and a four. Um, and if Adam Pierce pulled the trigger, I won't be shocked if he did. <clears throat> I don't think he will because of, of Devontae's age. If Devontae was a little younger, sure. If he was 28, I think it would get done. If he was 20, 29, not 30 yet, like around Terry's age, yeah, it'll get down. In fact, he's 31 already. I think he's approaching 32. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if he just turned 31 or he's about to turn 32. Um, with that being said, I just think the age doesn't make sense for our timeline and um, our winning window. I don't think we're ready to win right now today. I know we're brand one. I know we're all high and all like, yeah, it's lit. Ah, but are we Super Bowl ready? Is it that move for a Super Bowl contender to do? The answer is not so fast, buddy. We're not there yet. So I think we'll get there pretty soon as time gets along. It's just we got to stay patient and to continue to have faith in this team and continue to have faith in our GM and um, keep taking one week at a time. Now, if we're 7-2 and two going to the trade deadline, this has a lot more steam. Can't lie to you. But I think we're going to probably be 6-3 and three or 5-4 and four going into the year. Um, trade deadline, so might not might not be ready to try to go make that Super Bowl push right now. But we're seven and two. God forbid, eight and one. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking Devontae Adams at DC. But as of right now, I think we hold off on it. We'll, we'll make a move like that. I might think more like we'll make a move like a trade for Deontay Johnson. I think a trade for T Higgins is a lot more possible than a trade for a Devontae Adams because of the age. Um, I believe T is like 25 or 26. So I think it makes a lot more sense for the window that we're are, or that we are in. So it's gonna do it for today. Video like comment, subscribe, and guys in the comments down below. You guys be easy, be safe, stay healthy, love you guys. And I catch y'all on the next one. Catch you on the flip side, peace, love, and blessings. Y'all be easy.